So I'm just going to assert that most of us have not had, we, we spend a lot of time resisting fear. Okay, learning how to uh, suppress it, learning how to avoid situations in which it shows up. We want to reduce the experience of it as much as we can. I'm inviting you to take it on. Hey, come on in. My fear, come on in. You want to put yourself in a situation where it shows up. One of the things we do in the class uh, is um, we actually have people, um, again, large class, right? 300 people. So um, one of the things we do is uh, we actually see students, by and large, what they have done is this, OK? The way at least I remember from my school days. The way from my school days, it has been like this. You did elocution, you did recitation, right? debates and all that stuff you did, right? OK, so one of the things is at some point in time, they'll call your name. They'll call your name. Virendra Sethi from class 4, whatever, class 6 or class 7. I think it was class 7. Class 7B. So class 7B, Virendra Sethi, not wearing a jacket. I don't remember. It probably was winter time. So OK, come like this. Dehradun. Cold in Dehradun. So Sethi, Virendra Sethi, right? Everybody? Class 7th. OK, everybody? All right, one more time, I'll come. Because you've got to get, OK? This is not that mucho wala, OK? All right? Ready? सिंहासन हिल उठे उठे राजवंशों ने ब्रिकुटी तानी थी बूढ़े भारत में आई फिर से नई जवानी थी खोई हुई आजादी की कीमत सबने पहचानी थी चमक उठी संसत्तावन में वो तलवार पुरानी थी बुंदे लेहर बोलों के मुंह हमने सुनी कहानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी किया ना ओके नाउ द द द डिजाइन ओवर देयर द ट्रेनिंग ओवर देयर वाज डोंट लुक हियर don't look here, don't look here. Thank God there's a camera, so at least I can somewhere look. But you know, <laughs> otherwise you're supposed to really look above there, not look at anybody. Why? Because my younger brother would be sitting over there with another friend, very proudly saying, my brother, my brother. <laughs> okay, and the moment he said, my brother, my brother, and I get distracted, you know, he'll not. My brother was even better than me. Okay, you know what he did? He came. Came up here, Rajiv Sethi. Okay, he comes up here, says, na 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 whatever. I don't forget now what he was. Na 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 na. At some point in time, he forgot. Okay, when he forgot, he's so smart. I'm telling you, he forgot. He says, nobody ever knew that he forgot. <laughs> so our training, okay, our training is. Uh, such that we actually are not being with people. We're not dealing with, we don't, I mean, the moment I see in front, come in front of that many people, immediately what happens is like an ocean of people, but I'm really dizzy, I can't see anybody, as long as somebody is there listening, thank God. Okay, so one of the things we do is we actually have students come in front and stand over here. Invariably, whenever people have come up here and stood over here, they have come for some presentation, they've come from some, you know, Jhansi Ki Rani, or they've come for some other poem, or you know, something like that they've come. They've actually never been here to stand over here and just be with you. It's very difficult, huh? So we don't have any practice in just standing here. All right, good. So invite, put yourself in situations where fear will show up so that you can learn to embrace it. Balance on a bicycle is available where? On the bicycle. On the bicycle. Absolutely, on the bicycle. So where is fear available? When you step up. When you step up. I told you about the special gas. There's another thing that we spend a lot of money on. Okay, the money we spend on is these seats over here, we put a thick layer of fevicol every morning. So when I say, please get up for volunteer, can't move. <laughs> it's one or two chairs which have not been coated adequately. These people get pushed out you know, and say, OK. Otherwise, you understand? But simultaneously, they have to look back. Well, what is the status of that back? <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting and saying it, huh? <laughs> OK. All right, very good. So uh, you came to get trained, but fear will not let you get trained. We can do some work on notebook. I wanted you to do this, but there's not enough time. So you should write down in a notebook what are the, not now, later, you should do this. 
Um, see, the thing I wanted to just deal with is this. You know, identify three fears that you're strongly present to present for you when you have to present to a large audience. And I said audience with a footnote. And the footnote is this. Is it students? Usually it is just students, yeah. What you need to prepare. I went somewhere and I was preparing and somebody said, Hey, they're just students, yeah. You'll just be able. They are students. They're not just students. They're students. They're precious. Okay? So uh, are they are they precious leaders? They, like who I'm talking to in any BTEC classes, people, you know, MTech class, PhD class, doesn't matter. You know, anybody who's here inside of this course, my job is to let them know that they are leaders and relate with them as leaders. Okay? Anything less than that, I shouldn't be here. I got better things to do. Okay? All right. So they are precious leaders. What you have to say would impact their lives forever. What's the cost of not being able to communicate? Okay, if this was the case, if what you have to say is going to impact them, it will make me a little nervous. Should it not? It's something's at stake now. Okay, I've got, I've got a brain surgery to do. This person is going to depend, this person's life is going to depend on whether I, I perform that surgery or not. Okay, okay this part, everybody? Do you remember this? Okay, excellent. Remember this? Okay. Remember this? And remember this. Yes? Laugh? No, no, no. Listen. When you know, when you laugh at ourselves, okay, standing in a place of hundred percent responsibility. Let me tell you what hundred percent responsibility means. There's a boat sinking, okay, and the person is saying, two people in a boat, okay, and the boat is the one guy says, Oh, there is a hole in the boat. He says, It's okay, it's in your side of the boat. Okay, so you, you know, really, you really want to get that ultimately you are 100% responsible. You really want to also begin to recognize how automatic we are. I say something, you'll immediately have a reaction to it. I, I, I'm not even attacking, you already start defending. It's just human, okay? There's a certain automatic. So you want, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, again, as we were saying, what's the difference between a human being falling from a cliff and a rock falling from a cliff. The stone is silent. <laughs> Gravity doesn't care. Gravity doesn't, really doesn't care, okay? So laughing, okay, when other emotions are more dominant and there is nothing funny, okay, when there's nothing funny, then that is the situation when you can smile about being trapped. That's, you know, you really, you know, when you're, oh, you're you know, like this, all of my humanity is right here in front of me. Can I laugh about it? Okay, you want to practice that. That's not something that comes overnight. There's a certain automaticity where you would not, you cannot laugh. This is a serious matter. That's when you can really laugh. Okay, so shift in the game, we talked about it. Not only what you're presenting, who is presenting. If you are the one who's going to make a difference, then it makes a, it makes a difference what you say. Okay, who is it being presented to? Okay, why is it being presented, and what is at stake? So, if you're on a mission, there's something at stake, right? Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to now share with you a very precious thing. You know, everybody know Hanumanji? Heard of Hanumanji? Must have name to suna hoga. Right? Okay, good. Hanumanji. So, Hanumanji had has apparently all the a boons, boons, war. It's called war in Hindi. I don't know what it's called in another language. But boon, he has a boon, and the boon is that he has all the powers in the world. He has one shrap. Shrap is the curse, and the shrap is that he will forget that he has all the boons. Okay, so all human beings are afflicted with the syndrome. Human beings are afflicted with the syndrome. So you need to really make sure somebody is around you who can remind you, hey, you have all the boons. Okay, because by design, you and I are cursed not to be able to access or not to be able to remember our boons. Okay, good. So uh, last night, by the way, um, I was thinking, I was 
thinking what to do in this class today and I did a little prayer okay and uh, in my dream I got an instruction and the instruction was grant the newly inducted mission leaders okay you people everybody understand who the in case you're wondering who it is raise your hand that person yeah no not not human beings people in this room right now okay I can't go and have this conversation with somebody in, in Kanjurma station right so people in this room everybody clear okay so you are the person this is so the instruction was given like that okay last night a uh, fairy came to me and said to grant this okay and in under, underneath my pillow I found this magic magical wand everybody can see it it's okay if you don't see it but it's magical okay okay all right so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come so this is what it looked like in my dream this is what it looked like and I would have liked the lights to be off and all but I think the video will not work so let's the let the video be on okay lights be on I'm going to now turn around and come and just wish it on you everybody so what is the boon being granted? Okay? Ready? Now anybody not willing to please stand up right now because once this is given to you it can't be taken back. <laughs> no, no. Somebody can say boss, both of you mission mission, I don't want to be here. Okay? Ready? Can I? Can I? Alright, good. So ready everybody. <laughs> Aya? Idhar bhi, aagya? Eh, aap teen log nahi mila. Idhar dekho, idhar dekho, pichhe dekho. Dekho, whoosh, whoosh, okay? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Mila? Idhar, whoosh, whoosh. Right? Everybody got? Oi, somebody left me. Chata vata leke nahi baitne ka. Whoosh, okay, got it. Everybody got it. So please clap for each other. Thank you very much. I don't know how many of you noticed this little star also. You noticed, ah, huh? ah. Apparently, it's one of those... Oi? Oi? Pretty cool, huh? I think it is some condition in fine footprint. Fine print, footnote condition. 60% off. Yes? There's some condition. Let us see because, you know, the fairy can't be doing it without condition, okay? Here's the condition. Ready for this condition? Okay, the condition is this. It is available to you provided you say what is your mission. It's a paradox, okay? It's a paradox. Balance is available only when you're on a bicycle. So the communication, whatever boon of communication is going to only be available to you when you're on a mission. No bicycle, no balance on the bicycle. No problem. But the boon is available to you when? When you're on a mission. Excellent. So the question then is, what bicycle do you want to ride? Which is your mission? Okay? What Mount Everest? What is your Mount Everest? Okay? My favorite, one of my favorite students, his name is Shiv Charan Meena. Okay? Shiv Charan Meena from Rajasthan. Anybody from Rajasthan? Okay, excellent. So Shiv Charan Meena, he came for his MTech in our department, Environmental Science and Engineering. And he said during one of these communication skills courses, he said, sir, my problem is English. Actually, the way he said it was, sir, my problem is English. Okay? And I said, sorry, Shiv, Shiv Charan, your problem is not English. Your problem is that the environmental problems of Rajasthan are not your problem. The day it becomes your problem, you will hire 10 people who can speak Faratedar English and get them to work on it. Balance, the boon is available. So I just want to be very black and white about this. The boon is available to you when you're on a mission. Okay, very good. So the opportunity, okay? So you've known yourself to be a particular way. Yes? Okay, very good. You have known the world to be a particular way. Yes? These ways have been inherited inside of earth is flat. Inside of some belief systems, inside of some paradigm. Okay? So the opportunity here is to create a new you, a new world, and the fulfillment of landing man on the moon. Whatever that is for you. Whatever that is for you. 
I'm not saying what it should be. Okay, whatever that is for you. So welcome to the new opportunity. Big hand. So practice time, all right? From now on, practice time. How many people seen the movie Groundhog Day? Please make a note of it. This is the only time I'm asking you to take notes. Please make note of it. Groundhog Day. Go see this movie. You'll, Groundhog Day, that's written up there. Groundhog Day. All right, questions, thoughts, claims. If you claim having learnt, it is yours. Else, it was just another lecture. All right, so why don't you take a moment and write down what you're claiming to have learnt. Take a moment, write it down in your notebooks. From the session on your online <coughs> Whatever is there for you. Don't restrict yourself. If you come, something comes for you that you learned when you were five years old and now realizing it, write it. <laughs> Take your time. This is your time. Be generous with yourself. Be daring. Write things in which your hands tremble. There will be things that you cannot write because your hands will tremble to write that. Take a shot, write it. If you're writing it, your heart starts to beat faster than you're on the, on, on the right track. Don't hold yourself back. Okay, very good. So, those of you still writing, please take a half a minute so you can wind up. Okay. Um, anybody doing okay? All right. So, probably a good time to turn to your partner and say, hello, partner. <laughs> and take a minute. I said two plus two, but take one minute each. And the person with the shorter hair goes first this time. Okay. So, one minute each. Please go. Share about what you wrote, okay? Okay, please say thank you to your partners. Thank you, partner. Give a hand. Okay, excellent. All right. So, um, you know, I think we've already done this, but since I have the slides here. So, this setup was for following instruction, the exercise we did with the five, uh, five slides. We've done this already, okay? Um, this is where we are, and, you know, this is the first slide that I, the only difference is over here is I've changed this green to yellow now, right? And I'm saying, you have to propose a title by September 15th. We've just done some work here. We just had some fun, shared some conversations. You got to look at, now you are the source of it. How would you want to take it and design it? And that's the work we're going to be doing in the next 40 minutes or so. OK? All right. Uh, so the planning of the next session, uh, one of the things we said, there are two parts. This part over here is, how would you like to design to communicate the session we carried out today and yesterday? Uh, what are the takeaway learning? How best to communicate these? Okay, that's now going to be your work. All right. So first, we'll begin with some personal work, and then we do group and follow-up work. The personal work is this. See, you really want to inquire for about two minutes. I know it's too short a time, but inquire into. You have five hours to have participants get access to. Communication as a way of expressing their leadership. You have five hours, about five hours, let's say, to work with your participants to impact communication as a way to express their leadership. Okay? What is the impact you want to make? Okay? So you inquire into that. So you really want to begin with yourself. So all the work that you've been doing, what is it that I've learned? You made some notes. Okay, begin with yourself. How were you impacted by what happened? Okay? And, or you could be, you know, how would you like to be impacted? Some of you are still waiting. Chalo, yaar, once the course gets over, na, then let me, I'll let the impact hit me. Eh, it's also there. Okay, let me just see how this is. I, what is this? Let me just figure out. I'm checking this out. You know, I'm not really willing to participate in this game. Even in the mission, we shall see how this goes. Then I will decide. Okay? 
So some of you might even by now be deciding, how would you like to be impacted? There's some part of, your, of what we did over here. You came looking for impacting that part, and that part didn't get impacted. You understand? So there could be some parts which we didn't cover, which you think are important. Okay? And therefore, you can actually now include them in the design of what you would like to present or how you'd like to impact. Clear, everybody? OK, good. So let's just, why don't we just go ahead and do this. Take a few minutes, and this is difficult work now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, stigmas. How do we overcome that? Don't. No? Only one time you'll be able to overcome it. I mean, holding ourselves back. Don't. But people do. We do. Good. So be somebody, we or I? No, no. no many no. times I. Yeah. I, no, many times. I, yeah. Who are we okay, talking about I, here? Incidentally, I? yeah, okay, I, yeah. So are you willing to let go of it? I am. Good, fabulous. But suppose it happens, mm -hmm. it's, it's my son. If yeah. I talk about my son. Okay, sure. Then. What? How what? do I handle it? Oh, how, handle what? Like, see, when I'm just citing, a, it's a sure. personal issue. My son doesn't like me to, you know, get decked up in Western dresses, probably. Okay. Or dance me. Mm -hmm. So, because for him, ladies do not dance. Mm -hmm. Ladies do not because there's a social stigma out there. Okay, how old is your son? He's just uh, 13 right now. Not just, he's 13. He's 13. Yeah. <laughs> just. Yeah. 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 And he's 13. He's 13. Listen, he's 13. Yeah, 13. Teen, teen. He's a teenager. Yeah, well, welcome to being mother of a teenager. Should it be some other way? It exactly happens with our students no, no. as should well. Should it be some other way? Yeah. He should accept. No, no. <laughs> Who said that? Who, what makes you say it should be some other way? Till such time as you're not going to let him be OK and you be OK with this, there's no room for anything else happening. You already have him. He is a particular way. Like my, you, and you rightly said, like my own students, right? Some students are, yeah, what's the difference between my son and my student? Nothing. Where the differences would come is where you are. So can you love him and respect him for who he is and having that opinion? And guess where he got it from? You keep resisting it, he'll keep reinforcing it. Love him for doing, loving for having that, that outlook in life. Fabulous, great. Now what? Right? Bottom line is, you've got to love him for who he is. Can you do that? Right? OK, and whose child is he? Good. Did you know that? You, do you, by the way, have you done a rehearsal in life? Of life? Have you, do you know, have you ever had a 13 year old before this? <laughs> or even if you did, even some people have two children and one is now older and the other one is 13. They think now they, have to, they know how to deal with a 13 year old. It's a completely new experience. <laughs> I have a daughter who's eight years. Okay. And uh, like I have an experience of handling a eight year old. <laughs> I know, but you know, it's like some kind of an illusion we live in. Like God made them all one type when they, were, when they were eight years old and now we know how to deal with it. No, absolutely none. Risky business. You know, when my wife Manju and I, you know, when she was pregnant and we went to the doctor, you know what the, what's the doctor, I thought the doctor would say congratulations, what a lovely thing. You know what the doctor said? Like everything else in life, to bring a life to life is risky. <laughs> I mean, that was the end of it for me. It's like from then onwards, it was like, Fine, whatever is going to happen, it's a risk now. Let's go. Let's, are we willing to play? You have been playing. I, you, is there any doubt about you being a great mother? No, no. So, theek hai na pe? Baki ecosystem dekh lenge. Okay, good. What else? This question is valid, but here you, there's some other work to be done here. Not a problem. It's not a problem. So, uh, what's your name? Sandhya. Sandhya. So, but everybody give a big hand to Sandhya. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, okay? It takes something to actually share yourself in, like, in a group like this. But do you know how many mothers in this room? Do you know how many fathers in this room? Do you know how many children in this room? Okay, so thank you for sharing. Okay, good, very good. Okay, so everybody clear on this? What's the exercise? So two people tell me what's the exercise. One person from here. Just like how to express ourselves 
and we have to make our five hours impact in which they will express themselves yeah. how their communication is so powerful to make as a, uh, a how powerful it is to make it as a leadership actually. excellent this is not about you no for my audience no, no i'm just saying this is not about you everybody be clear this is not about you no participants Yes. Yes, participants. Actually. Yeah. So I know you got it, but I just want to. You know, sometimes it's like, "Main ab ye, I will now this, I will now this." Not I, 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 I. It's what's needed and wanted so that that can get fulfilled. So you have five hours, whatever the number are, to have participants get access to communication as a way to express their leadership. Okay. Whatever you now, whatever you got, you got to start practicing. Okay. And now what I'm asking you to do is start thinking, giving some thought to. If I give you now a class of 50 people and say, okay, you have two hours with them, go. You have to design it. It's not going to come right there on the spur of the moment. Two hours is a long time. Okay, okay very good. Thank you. Okay, who else? One person from here. What's the assignment? One person from here. Somebody who's most scared. Ah, good, very good. Were you scared a little bit? No. The, why were you not getting up? <laughs> How many people here were scared? Because, you know, look what I did to him. Yeah? He's not the same person anymore. He's bleeding all over the place. I beat him up so much. Look at her, you know, she's got blood coming all over. The I beat her up so badly. Why are you not getting up? I mean, I'm bad, but I'm not killing people, right? So how come you're not raising your hands? Because people in your class will not raise their hands. And what are you going to do? You're going to say, even I didn't raise my hand. They're also not raising their hand. Okay. If you raise your hand, you actually have a say in the matter about they will raise their hand. You'll, you can, you'll have to stand like this and say, you raise your hand, otherwise I'm not stop, I've stopped the class. You know, it's like saying, I'm not going to continue with the class till you get up and speak something. Everybody's waiting. You know I'm looking at you, right? Uh, sometimes it happens like, oh, must be looking there, must be looking there, <laughs> but not me. So I, all, I don't, I, all I'm asking you is, stand up. Keep breathing. Now, this is dizzy. You're already in special gas. Okay? Must be dizzy. Look at the people. You know, look at these lovely people. See, you haven't actually seen these people before. Look at these people. Fabulous people. Beautiful people. Just look at them. You know, you and I, little nervous, little, uh, you're okay? Okay, but there is a little bit of awkwardness. If you're a human being, yes. No? No? <laughs> then, then why were you not getting up? Okay, then I have a question. Why were you not getting up? Why? Everybody, by the way, it's not just him. Why did you not raise your hand? Why did you not raise your hand? Why did you not? And you, my friend, why did you not raise your hand? <laughs> Knowing that you know, you're in a danger zone, I can anytime come and hit you like that. Well, I want to know, how come you didn't raise your hand? But must be something. Something, somebody else. No, listen, this is calling for you to be the person in the lead. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, give him a big hand. All right, you wanted to say something? Well, thank you. Sit down. Okay. So, what's the exercise? Uh, so we need to design how uh, what's called how to impact our uh, participants. That is our college uh, teachers yeah. uh, to uh, involve in this program and uh, make effective of that program. And uh, they need to spread uh, their leadership qualities, yeah. right, with their students yeah. and uh, form a big circle. Excellent. I think and it is it's not going to true. start where? Um, in your writing right now. Right, fine. Okay. Right? Right. Okay, good. So everybody, please take two, three minutes. Do this work on your own. Then I will put you in paired share. You can share with your partner. But right now, you've got to kind of start design. All of you are teachers, yes? yes. You design your courses. You design your sessions, yes? yes? This one, have you designed before? Say no. no. Good. Design it now. Start the design now. Achha, don't talk. No, don't talk. I'll give you a chance to talk. This is your time. Your time alone. Don't talk. This is just you doing the work. If you have a question, call me. Okay. All right, very good. So uh, typically when you are, so look up please, yeah? So typically when you're preparing for a class for the first time, one hour class, how much, how many hours do you spend in preparing? Four to five hours? Yeah, okay. So this one probably is going to be double. The reason is that you'll have to go out, practice, see if it works, doesn't work, come back, correct it, you know, so it'll probably require double the time. Already started. 
I know. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We are there. I know. Thoda time He's already there. Thoda time mere saath aur All right, good. So um, I'm going to now st set you up for some group work. Okay. So as a group, and I have a sheet of paper here. Okay, which I'll give to a group of four. Okay. So four of you will write your name, your uh, city, your email, and also please put down your RC. ID, okay. Put your RC ID, and whatever is on this, I'm I'm, I'm going to show it on, on the screen here. So as a group, design two into two and a half hour sessions for about 50 participants to fulfill on. Participants get access to communication as a way to express their leadership. What is the impact you want to make? So that is what we the work that you just did. Okay. Now what you're going to do is work with three other people. And exchange ideas as to how best it might be, might be able to design it. Document the notes on this sheet of paper. Document the notes on this sheet of paper. Use the reverse side also if you want, correct? And what we will do is, uh, at the end, so please submit this at the end of the session, which is be about in about half an hour. We will make copies and return to each one of you in the group. So then each one in the group will have notes as to what's the work you did. We'll keep the original. I think I also said it serves as your attendance also. No? How can you miss that, right? Attendance is also there. So, but really, we want to keep it because we want to keep the original and you know just keep keep look to see how it's going. But each one of you will get a sheet so you know what's the work that got done, and you it's, you your, the emails are here so that you can be in touch even after you left from here. So within the four of you, you can continue to build strength. Okay, all right. And uh, then the second thing which I've written over here is by September 15th. Please submit a detailed minute by minute schedule for your sessions, activities, exercises, conversations, questions that they will need to answer for themselves, videos, TED talks, etc. And the, how you will submit, we will inform you later. So I need some help in that as to how to submit. Huh? So September 15th, it's got two, three weeks. Okay, so we will, in, through Moodle or some other way, we'll be able to collect that information from you. And then we'll consolidate it. And ha then have the collective wisdom of the entire uh, group of coordinators uh, to be able to then use it. Okay, everybody okay with this? It's collective now. So then the way it works is that between the four of you, you'll have to. By the way, it's a microcosm of what's going to happen there. Huh? Mm. Exactly. So I might say my idea is better. But the other person will say, my idea is better. That's the end of the group. <laughs> okay? So you'll have to listen from a place of generosity to see what is it that this person is saying and collectively come up with something. Then, of course, ultimately, you will do whatever you will do in your session there. But this is the opportunity for three other people to be able to contribute to you. Yeah, so I understood it. Everybody? Brainstorming. Huh? Brainstorming. Yeah, brainstorming too. Yeah. Okay? I understood it. Okay, man. very good. So uh, again, you got all these details that are there. OK, that's, that's my last slide, but I'll leave this up here. Everybody ready? So this is on September 15th. Right now, what you're supposed to do is this. Clear? So can I go ahead and now start? So first of all, form groups of four. And do it logistically. I mean, it will work out if you guys get together in small groups. If you need to turn around, stand here, do something, you'll have about 20 minutes to do this. Everybody, about 20 minutes to do this, OK? But don't be in a linear because you can't talk. So make sure two people are this way, two people are this way, like that. Once the, once the group is decided, the leader of the group, please stand up. Three people? Uh, five? Five is OK. Not three. Five. All right. So that's a good beginning. Good, no problem. No problem. No problem. No, we will take this back now. You continue working. How many people need more time? All right, uh, another two minutes, 20 seconds. The person who has a sheet of paper is now the leader. So will you please put your sheet up like this and wave out, and I will come and pick it up from you. Oh, Thank okay. you. And then after that, please sit down.
we'll give you a photocopy. You can keep working on it. OK, who else? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, give it to me now. I'll make photocopies, give it back to you. Don't worry, whatever it is, it's OK. I'll take your time, take your time. Okay, RCID, please make sure you write your RCID. Your attendance is accordingly decided. If you were not present, write somebody else's roll number. <laughs> Proxy. If you're not well, put in brackets, not well. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. OK, good. So um, this is. Uh, how many of you enjoyed it? All right, very good. How many of you know that this is an extremely difficult exercise? OK, excellent. Very good, very good. Thank you for participating in it, OK? Very nice. It's just a starting point, OK? And uh, my suggestion is that the, we'll give you photocopies. And so you have the uh, other uh, three, four people in your group. You'll have access to them. Plus, it kind of is a summary of the notes that got taken during today, during your group work. So you can then continue to build on it. I asked you for something by 15th of September. Watch that movie and watch the movie Groundhog Day. And what's the other thing? Somebody minute by minute schedule, right? And um, okay, this one. How many of you have seen some TED talks? All right, if you haven't, like Groundhog Day, you should just go. Google say TED Talks and you know on YouTube you'll find a lot of them. They're very inspiring. You should see some of them. They're usually 10 minutes, 15 minutes, not very long. You, you can share these in the in the classroom with your students as well. Okay. Um, so here's what I have to say about this. Fail at it. Everybody. Everybody. Fail at this assignment. No, I'm asking you. By 15th of September, please fail at, three, at least three times. See, when you're failing, that means you're at least on the bicycle. No? <laughs> right? So everybody, promise that you will fail at least three times before September 15th. I'm not saying by September 15th, you'll also be able to ride a bicycle. I don't know. At least you begin to get a sense of, oh, I don't understand this. Oh, this is missing. Then you need to go to Google. You need to go whatever else. You need to get in touch with the other people in the group to begin to access the resources that are required so that you can answer the question. Fair enough? So now this work has started. It's like, you know, it's going to be an ongoing thing. So uh, I'm sure each group had an exciting time. So uh, I'd like at least three groups to share what is opening up. So one. Listen, this is the last chance, okay? So if you've been saying, I'll do later, I'll do later, I'll do later, this is the later. So one person here, one person who, okay, good. Uh, I'm going to call on somebody who hasn't shared. No, not lead. There was no leader. There was just all four groups. Okay, have you shared? No, okay, so you should stand up. Okay, good. So the... Uh, all right, I'll give you also a chance, okay, after this. Okay, so you, for you first. You, now you're speaking on behalf of your group, right? Okay, and what are you going to be telling us? Uh, not interested. I'm interested in, as you were doing this exercise, what did you see about yourself? What did you see about the design? What did you see? I'm not interested in the final product. I'm interested in what happened in the group. And more so, inside of an appreciation of what happened, which would not have happened if it was not a group. Yeah. Everybody with me? Yeah, yeah. OK, good. Hello? You can't let them say, you say hello and they cannot say, how can they not say hello? Hey, hello. Hello. Ah. OK. Everybody with me? <laughs> Thank you. This thing that I was learned. Okay. Uh, in the group, we started with uh, sharing the experiences, how we can plan any, any particular session that we are supposed to plan. So what are the steps that everybody was taken? So we have discussing all those things. And then we have started focusing on uh, what is the topic was given. 
uh, all of the four, all the four members have uh, explaining their ideas how we can plan the session, how we can uh, basically because initially uh, one of the group members thought that we have to only plan one session, that is 150 minutes. So first we decided that okay, it is 150 minutes, so it's uh, oh 150 minutes, that's why. So then we have decided how we can plan. We break up the time. Actually, most of the activity it is minute by minute, not minute by minute, but we can. Okay, for 30 minute we can do this thing. Then 30 minute we can do the, this thing, and then what is the remaining part which is supposed to be focused on a content? So we have decided on that part. So for first 150 minute was over, and so what we have planning here that first 150 minute is only for uh, opening up, uh, knowing the others, and uh, understanding each other, and focusing on the actual content of that particular. And the next session will be a. Uh, live session, some hands-on, some practice session, practical session, everybody has to speak and that sort of thing. Uh, while doing this, everybody was... So, I, I appreciate what you're saying. It's just that somewhere in the background I'm hearing, then we will do this, then we will do this, somehow 150 minutes will fail. No, it is not like that. Pakka, na? No, no, no. Definitely no. All right, okay. Uh, uh, and uh, while discussing that, talking about that lecture part, how we can deliver the lecture. Everybody has a different views because they, in back of mind, they thought of their way of delivering the lectures. So that is the thing. But uh, at the end, we realized that what we have learned in this particular session, that is the very important aspect. So like um, ask the participant to motivate, ask the participant to take the participant, to, wow. to participate into the particular talk. So that we have learned. So we have to inculcate that part uh, in that particular session. So that 60 minute session is there, we a 90 minute session designed, but it is, can we use the videos, can we use the, just now, so it's talking about TED talks, can we uh, thought of getting some uh, feedback from the uh, participant, that sort of thing that we have. To. So way of the delivery might be different for all of us five and we, it will be based on that particular 15. It has to be, Okay. not might be, it has to be, it has to be your personal self-expression. Okay. Who's speaking over there is you and your heart and your leadership and your commitment and you being a mission leader. And how, how that's going to come across is going to be totally as you are. Might nay. That's so how it's going to be. Broadly, we decided the plan in detail. Everybody was having a different view. So they will definitely have a different plan of action minute by minute. Excellent. And Thank you. you know, I think I, sh I should definitely, definitely tell you that please be shameless about stealing ideas. From your group. What did I say? Shameless? Absolutely shameless about stealing ideas. Actually, it's not stealing. It's somebody saying it, you're listening, it gets generated over there. So as a group of four or five that you are, please be partners with each other to make sure that you be, become a resource for each other for the ideas. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank Give you. him a big hand. Thank you. Yeah, please, come. Okay, uh, the advantage we, uh, what we had was others were uh, formulating the group. Our group was for formulated spontaneously. Our neighbor said we will formulate a group and uh, instantly being a senior member uh, by age, they nominated me as leader also. I was not willing but anyway I accepted it. <laughs> but anyway, after that we immediately got down to our work. We formulated a rough plan. We did not go into the details of what we will be doing over next 15 days or so. Up to September 15 time is there. So we'll do, do in detail. What we have to do, we had uh, jotted down the points. We took each, everybody into confidence. I listened to them, they told us, and I also contributed. Finally, we ended up with formulating a rough plan. Uh, our overall objective now is, sir, or what is the plan, is that we will teach all the dimensions of communication, technical communication, to be more precise, what we have learnt in the, this workshop, mm -hmm. through various varieties of modes, such that at the end of the day, after two sessions, the participants, 50, they will be given all the opportunities to develop their leadership traits. That is the plan of action. Detail we will uh, we'll think out later and each one of us will contribute to that. Fabulous. Thank you. And, uh, my request is that before September 15th, fail at least three times. We will we'll try to fail more number of times. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Big hand. Thank you. All right. One person there. Right. So in our case, like four people were there, we were. So we decided that two of us will, de will decide among them, among us, and two of others, they will decide among them. So then we'll come up with uh, our ideas. 
So what happened actually, we are only considering on the fact that 50 people are there, we have to make them engage. So we decided to uh, make a uh, group of 10 pupils, then there will be five groups altogether. So if five groups are there, then uh, we were thinking that they will choose their own leader, they will nominate. So this was initial idea. So one gave the idea of uh, case study, one gave the idea of role playing. Uh, then again, uh, I was thinking personally that, okay, this is the right way to nominate leader. Then uh, one of our group, ma group met, he said that, uh, how can they nominate if they don't know each other? So then uh, we thought that, okay, the role playing should be there. Then we, they will understand who is the leader, who is making the most improvisation in the plan. So that may be the right way. So what I, we realized that by doing this, we have improvised in the each steps, which was not possible initially. We thought that all of our own idea is the best. So the improvisation, that's the thing we learned from you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Big hand for him. Thank you. No, somebody else had raised the hand. Yeah, you. Uh, whatever the activity which is given to us, however it will be done. However it will be done. It is our job to be done. However it will be done. Huh? <laughs> the two activities, the four group and all are uh, telling something else. Huh? And everyone is experienced. So, Pakka, the two activities will be near in front of us. But only the thing is that, by the sessions of the sir, what have told us, the thing which we have to not forget, adults, idiots, human beings, <laughs> and the post. <laughs> These are the things to be remembered. <laughs> this is the thing and which we can easily communicate to our students and you can, we can, and you are with me? You are with me? <laughs> yes. These are the things which we can make our students to be with us. This is a big activity what we have to do. However, the activity which is given has to be done, it will be doing. Why? Because we have four intellectual people near us. We will design however, that will be done. Wow. But uh, this is the thing most important and I feel very great to be here. And I feel, I, and I thank my colleagues that they have selected me as a workshop coordinator and luckily I am here. And uh, finally, from today, I am waiting that when this August 30th will come, mm. when I have to enter into the mission mm. and, uh, <laughs> and uh, the last and final thing is that I am planning daily. I have to go to this college and I have to ask the chairman and the director in this manner and to convince the faculty and this is this wow. this should be done if they are not able to convince and if the, if they are not able to come to this AVU and from so far uh, to our college and to be done as if with the help of the videos and these all things what you are going to give us in the moodle that i have to at least to present in front of all the faculty that you please see this for this a day or a week it will be very helpful for you why because after coming here i have i, I used to think in my college that I am the person, mm -hmm. no one can uh, be greater than me. I am only, why because uh, the, the chairman and the director always tell some works to us, we feel that, achha, we are only the person there. But after coming here, you are nothing, <laughs> there is something behind you. <laughs> okay, so I felt very happy and thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you. Sure, can you stand here? Just yes. stand here. All right. Can you take the claps that they're giving you? Yeah, sure. Can you give him a clap? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you, you should just know that, you know, uh, there are no accidents in life. And that, you know, that you were selected to come over here from your college because there's a certain honor and respect that you are related to as, yes? Okay, so you're carrying back the torch now? Yeah. Okay, so, so thank you each one of you for being the kind of person you are that you got selected and that you're going to be carrying the torch back. Okay? So a big hand for everybody. All right? All right. Uh, okay, everybody's got this. Last slide. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for listening committedly, listening very generously.